Over the last few years, many nonprofits were affected by the pandemic in one way or another, but the impact was pure speculation until now. I've got the facts from Giving USA, and I'm going to share those with you today. Stay tuned, the outcome may surprise you. If you've watched this channel for any length of time, you know that typically I bring topics and action steps that will help you change your world by increasing income and becoming fully funded. But today, I'm going to share with you some findings that just came to my attention and how acting on that data can take your nonprofit to the next level. Recently, I was sent a report revealing statistics from Giving USA for the most current year 2020. Some of those findings were eye opening. There were three lead indicators that especially caught my attention. They are as follows. Indicator number one, overall charitable giving climbed to $471.44 billion in 2020. That's a 5.1% increase from 2019. So even though the pandemic hit some nonprofit organizations hard, overall there was a significant increase in giving from 2019 to 2020. To put that in perspective, in both current and inflation adjusted dollars, 2020 was the highest year of charitable giving on record. That would normally be a solid increase, but when you factor in so many individuals losing their jobs and companies closing their doors for good, that's a remarkable increase. First, it helps to look at giving by source. In 2020, three of the four giving sources saw an increase compared to 2019. These sources were at an all-time high in inflation-adjusted terms. The only source to decrease was corporations. The change in giving since 2018, current dollars included, individuals at 9.1%, foundations at 19.9%, bequests at 4.9%, and corporations at 32 decline. However, an important indicator that I must point out is that giving by individuals has declined considerably as a percentage of total giving over the last 40 years. That doesn't bode well for many nonprofits. However, remember that this is an average of all nonprofits, so that might not be the case for you. But you should review your numbers to see if this is an area that needs your immediate attention. Second, it helps to also look at those statistics by type of recipient organization. That's as follows. In 2020, all four charitable subsectors exceeded their previous highs in inflation-adjusted terms. Giving to the following subsectors increased by 9% or more in 2020. Number one, public society benefit organizations. Number two, environmental and animal organizations. Number three, individuals. Number four, education. Number five, human services. So if you're in any of those subsectors, you're still making progress. Keep up your efforts. Next, giving to all types of charitable organizations in the years 2016 to 2020 rose above giving in the years 2011 to 2015. Once again, that's cause for encouragement, but may or may not apply to your individual sector or subsector. Over the last five years, giving to public society benefit organizations, environmental animal organizations, and human services organizations saw the highest rates of growth. That's good news for those organizations. However, if you're a faith-based organization, giving to religion realized the slowest rate of growth during the same period. And in fact, giving to religious organizations has been declining as a share of total giving to recipient organizations since the five-year period beginning in 1981 when it reached 58% of total giving. In the last five-year period, 2016 to 2020, religious giving comprised just 29% of total giving. If you're a faith-based organization, this is cause for concern. Once again, look at giving to your organization if, and see if you're experiencing the same trends. If you are, nothing helps to increase income better than going deep in your relationship with your partners or donors. When they're making tough decisions as to who to cut back in their giving, chances are donors look at which organizational leaders they consider to be friends and who they are not. Additional findings indicate that giving to religion increased just 1% in 2020. Putting that in perspective, since 2018, giving to religion has increased 2.5%. Knowing all that, there's one encouraging statistic for religious organizations. Despite its slow rate of growth over the last five years, giving to religion did receive the highest total donations over the same five-year period compared to any other subsector. Indicator number two, the annualized average rate of change in total giving in current dollars since 1980 is 5.8%. 
making the rate of change between 2019 and 2020 slightly below average. It's not all that unusual comparing a non-pandemic year to a pandemic year that the rate of change would be slightly below average with all the uncertainties in our economy. It will be critical that you track giving for your nonprofit organization in both 21 and 22. It might take a little work to get the history on your giving, but it will be well worth the effort, especially if giving is down, to know if these are areas needing extra attention. What is encouraging are the numbers in indicator number three. Indicator th number three states, the average year-to-year -year change in total giving between 1980 and 2020 was an increase of $10.57 billion, making the current dollar change in total giving between 2019 and 2020 larger than the 40-year average. That means that even though the rate of change in total giving went down, there was an increase in the average amount given between 19, 2019 and 2020. That's an increase in a year that was so challenging as mentioned before. It will be interesting to see how the numbers look in 2021 and 2022. Adding to that, here are a few miscellaneous statistics that I found. Total giving as a percentage of GDP in 2020 was 2.3%. In current dollars, individual giving as a percentage of disposable personal income was 1.9% in 2020, staying level with 2019. In 2019, the number of charitable organizations amounted to 1.37 million. That's a 2.9% increase over 2018. Some of the giving to religious organizations notwithstanding, overall these are encouraging numbers. When moving into isolation in March of 2020, the prevailing attitude was that giving to nonprofits would be adversely affected as companies shut down or went out of business. It seemed that a decrease in giving was inevitable. All that needed to be proven was how large a decrease would be. The fact is that giving increased during one of the most challenging times in our country's history, and that's exciting. But not all that surprising as America tends to be a very giving nation and in times of crisis step up more than almost any other nation on the planet. It will be interesting to see when the numbers come out if the increase in giving continued into 2021 as our workforce moved back to work or was 2020 an outlier year as people giving to nonprofits helped them through a crisis. In 2020, our organization saw several interesting shifts as we had to greatly scale down our personal visits, our communication moved to mail and email marketing. Donors took to responding to mail and email appeals in droves, for the most part making up for the losses of giving and personal appointments. In 2021 and even more in 2022, giving shifted away from mail and email as appointments were once again able to occur. How about your organization? Let me know in the comments section if you were one of the nonprofits hit hard by the pandemic in 2020 or if your income mirrored these statistics. And also whether your organization has bounced back in 2022. Let me also know what lessons you learned during that time so our community can benefit from your newfound knowledge. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, hit the like button and add a comment below listing which concepts you liked best and wanted to start first. If you've never subscribed to this channel, please know there's no cost to you, but the more subscribers we have, the more this message gets out to others and the more we can all share in the wealth derived from our collective experiences. Simply hit the subscribe button below and click the all bell to be notified when the next video is released. Consider sharing this with a friend or colleague. If you want to find out what to do and say during a meeting with a donor, watch this video and raise more money than ever before and better our world. I wish you the best as you strive to increase your income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Thanks a lot. See you in the next video.